Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a reaction to the, the new Infinite Warfare gameplay that was featured at the uh, PlayStation E3 uh, press conference. I'll leave a link in the description because uh, obviously at the moment you can't see it on the screen because uh, I don't know if I've got the rights to that shit. <laughs> but yeah, basically uh, I just got it on the background and obviously you can't hear it or see it. But, um, it's mainly just for me, just as a visual sort of reminder of the things I wanted to talk about. Um, so first off, I just want to say, um, on the original Infinite Warfare trailer, I wasn't too turned off by it, but um, at the same time, I wasn't really swayed one way or the other. Um, it just didn't give me enough, I felt. Uh, and with this actual gameplay footage, um, even though it is from the campaign still, um, I think it gives me more of an idea of the way they're going uh, and the sort of style they're going for, and um, and honestly, I actually quite like it. In fact, I actually really like it. I'd say. Um, I'll just quickly say I'm not being paid by anyone uh, at Infinity Ward or any bullshit like that. I mean, I don't know why the fuck they'd want me to say anything, but um, <laughs> but yeah. So um, the one of the first main things you see is the uh, dog fighting in the air, and at first I thought. You know, it's the same sort of thing of all, because I play a lot of the Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty campaigns, and um, a lot of the times you do have some sort of vehicles you go around in, and uh, there's sort of a bit of mobility, but most of the time you're not really controlling anything. It just gives you the illusion of controlling something. But with this, it seems like um, there's definitely a bit more control there, but I'm still worried that uh, you're not fully controlling the, the aircraft, uh, because it seems like you are, but at the same time, uh, they've done this before with certain things, and, uh, and you, you can never be certain. But if it is, if it is fully controlling the aircraft, uh, the spacecraft, even, um, I think that'd be really cool for the campaign. And honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing um, a specialised multiplayer game mode for it. Um, uh, not in the ranked. Uh, my cat's just trying to get out. Sorry, Pepper. I'll just be a minute. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing it uh, like a sort of zombies mode, um, or uh, or in Modern Warfare 2 where you had the uh, the missions that you could do uh, co-op, or you could do online. Um, they could do something like that, uh, or like a survival mode from like Modern Warfare 3. It'd be like that. Uh, they could have like a separate thing for dogfighting and have um, some sort of space battles like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's that part. Um, I mean, it, it looks cool. Will it actually be like that? I'm not sure. I still have to hold on out on that. Um, it definitely looks great aesthetically, and um, I say pretty much everything to do with the style of the game and uh, the way it looks. I think is uh, is great, and uh, um, I'd say some of the some of the characters and some of the weapons and things look a bit sort of bland. Um, there's quite a lot of grey in the game, I'd say, and uh, obviously when you're outside in space, it looks really good. That's where it shines, but. Uh, a lot of the scenes when you're uh, shooting inside of a building, um, it's just quite a lot of grey in there, and uh, you know, I hope it, I hope they add a bit more colour to it and uh, brighten up a bit. But at the same time, I mean, as long as the gameplay's good, then I won't be too bothered. But yeah, they go for a scene where you're um, sort of floating in space, and uh, you've got this sort of grapple hook thing, and um, you can use it to. Uh, grapple onto people and pull them towards you and uh, hence your you go towards uh, that direction or you can you can use it to go towards uh, different bits of um, of the scenery and the shrapnel uh, different broken off parts of uh, the spacecraft which it looks pretty cool like I mean <laughs> I can imagine just using it and feeling like spider-man not that I'd ever admit that to anyone but, but yeah so the the only thing I would say is that uh, when you're floating around like that, the only thing that worries me quite a lot is um, is that it, it's quite slow. The actual, the motion of it is quite slow, and um, I mean, I think that'd be great for um, short periods of time. But if it's like that for a long period of the game, I'm just talking about the campaign here. Um, but I mean, it, it works for multiplayer as well. If they have this mechanic, they could make it work in some areas of the multiplayer. But um, if they overuse this uh, mechanic too much, it's a huge risk because it it could go horribly for them. Um, I mean, it could work the other way, and it it could be the best thing that's ever happened to uh, sort of a AAA title. And 
I mean, whatever happens, I think they've got such huge balls for actually doing this. Um, as I said, with a triple A tile, uh, like Call of Duty, and just going, just going so balls to the walls like this. Um, I mean, I'm definitely interested to see what actually, what actually, uh, what actually the whole game uh, entails, and uh, it's given me a bit more of a glimpse of the idea that they have and uh, what they're sort of going for and. You know, I understand it, and uh, I actually really like it. But um, my, as I said, my biggest worry is that uh, it's going to be. It, I just don't see it working for a whole game and for a sustained sort of amount of time for multiplayer fans, um, which is the main sort of source of uh, the Call of Duty fan base, which is um, which is people uh, playing ranked matches online against each other. Um, we still don't know what the multiplayer is going to be like, but uh, if it's anything like the sort of space battles that you see in the campaign, I think that is going to get really boring for people um, for doing that over and over again. Um, I mean, that's just my opinion towards it. And uh, in my final thoughts, I'll just say um, I'm still hopeful for this game. I said this gameplay trailer has definitely made me feel more positive about it than I was before. Um, I'm still sort of in the middle. Uh, I can see both sides, and uh, I'm still very worried about it. But, um, but this is definitely alleviated some of my worries and, uh, and my concerns. And um, but as I said, it's just a campaign gameplay trailer, and uh, we've seen many times at E3 and other conventions where people have shown whether well, they've shown certain campaign gameplay or sort of multiplayer gameplay, and uh, and when it comes to the actual game, it's not been it's not been the same because it's a uh, Sometimes it's a bit too scripted and uh, it doesn't play out like proper gameplay, but for me, I did get a sense of that in this gameplay trailer, which does worry me still. Uh, but yeah, the short answer is we don't really know too much more than we did before, but um, I'd say it's just more of just giving you an idea of, uh, of how the combat's going to work in, in the campaign. And, uh, and yeah, I actually enjoyed it, so um, if you want to leave your thoughts on it, um, leave a comment down below. and. Uh, and also, please remember to leave a like, that helped me out a lot. And, uh, and if you're new, please feel free to subscribe as well, because um, I post a lot of Call of Duty gameplay and um, Call of Duty style videos, uh, and amongst other first person shooters, so um, yeah. Alright, see you guys. Goodbye.